This is 26.1 snapshot 2. The main thing this snapshot adds are these new baby animal variants. We can also craft name tags now, which I think is pretty cool. So not just new models and new textures, but also new sounds for those individual mobs. I don't play Bedrock, so I don't know if this is just a parody change, if this didn't work before, but now you can get baby mob by using a spawn egg on an adult mob. If you want to check out this article or this video, I'll have them both linked below. For simplicity's sake, I'm using Fabric to create a mod development environment. I'm sure you're aware, we already had baby mobs, but as described in the video, they have new models now, new textures and such. But the actual logic behind a mob being a baby hasn't really changed significantly. So if we search for chicken model, there are different classes for the abstract of a chicken model, an adult chicken model, a baby chicken model, and a cold chicken model which is an adult chicken model. So you see the baby model, it's not as dynamic as the adult. You see we have a body, two legs, and two wings. And here we have a body, two legs, two wings, as well as a red thing and a beak and its head. And you can see the stream for red thing. You'll see something similar for cows, cow model, baby cow model, cold cow model, warm cow model. And if you compare warm to cold, you see the cold one has horns. Now we want to look at how is it actually deciding which model to use. So the renderer decides the model. Initially, it passes a generic model up and then keeps track of a separate models map. And you see how those are baked into pairs. Below this, we also see get texture location and submit. This helps us get the texture for the baby and its sub variant. You see in living entity renderer where model is tracked here. And then we set model and submit here. So here we can see that items can have a data component of a swing animation. I feel like this could be really useful in a lot of places. Since name tags got updated, there was speculation that there might be new Easter eggs with the name tags. So we can see this one is unchanged, rendering an entity upside down with dinner bone or grum as their name. We see that used here during extract render state. If we check out sheep renderer, we can see extract render state and setting is Jeb sheep to check magic name of entity against Jeb underscore. And that logic is in mob renderer. So usually what we're looking for is this get custom name call. And it shows up in a lot of places. We can search for this check magic name, We'll also see toast in the bunny extractor understate. And one of the only other uses for this is to set a custom name for a killer bunny. So for the Johnny Easter egg, it's a little different. We have the set custom name, and then if it's not already Johnny, and then we're setting it to Johnny, then we say that is Johnny is true. I don't know if I might just be overlooking something, but I'm not uh, finding any new Easter eggs with name tags.